Hello guys, it's Briggs Boy here. Welcome back to my chart. Today I have another of my football match day vlogs for you guys to sit back and enjoy. So it's going to be a long midweek trip, this one. Uh, it's Rovers versus Cardiff City. So we're making a long journey down south to the Cardiff City Stadium for midweek championship action. And I always love these midweek away games. I just feel like they've got a bit of something about them. Not expecting big numbers. The game is on Sky as well. So, I mean, that's going to reduce the crowd that we take. But, uh, yeah, so far, starting off with... Taking a look at the league table, uh, Rose's win um, at the weekend against Millwall 2-1 means that we are currently in sixth position on 18 points. And I think it's six wins and five losses now. So not bad at all, really. Quite happy with that. No draws, which is the interesting thing. So I'm wondering how long it's going to be until we do actually draw a game. Uh, Cardiff, on the other hand, they are 18th on 12 points. Uh, let's not take away from the fact that they got a really good 1-1 draw at home to Burnley uh, at the weekend, which I think they'll take considering how high Burnley are in the league table. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be a tough game actually. Um, my score prediction, I'm going to go with a 2-2 draw. I'm going to go a little bit outside of the box here. Rose's goals, I've gone Sam Gallagher and Ryan Hedges. Ryan Hedges has been brilliant as of late. You know, he's really stepped up this season so far, so I'm glad about that, considering he cost us half a million. What a cracking sign and he's been, and he's certainly coming into his own now. But yeah, I think there's positives to take from the Millwall game. Hopefully we'll go into this one pretty confident, lots of energy. Uh, we've been pressing the ball really well in the matches, been passing it around really well. I think we just need to take more shots, basically, on the edge of the box, you know, give it a go. We did it a few times at the weekend and really tested Millwall. So, yeah, it should be a good game. Um, first trip to the stadium for me. So that's always a good one. And hopefully it's got the makings of a really good away game. But without further ado, guys, let's crack on with the vlog and I'll see you all later. Thank you. 
On so close to a, a point tonight, what was your assessment of the game? Um, yeah, we've ten, taken many positive, uh, many good steps in the right direction. Uh, first, half, first half was well, not one of them. Uh, we're not playing well in the first half. I think second half was, a, was an extremely equal game. We could have gone both ways in, in that way. We defended our box uh, pretty well in, in the whole game. Um, and, and, and of course, in the second half, when you, when, when we are playing our best football, which we didn't do today. You need to get a point with us. Uh, it's a penalty. Credit to Jaws to, to, to want to take a penalty. Uh, you can miss a penalty. Probably the ref should have been waiting a little bit regarding his blowing the whistle in that way. So disappointed, frustrated in that way. Uh, but we've, we've been here before, winning and losing, like a lot of teams in the league. So now we have a good opportunity where we would like to see a reaction on Saturday. Which At we home. do. A couple of big chances in the second half. One for, for Smodics, which the, the keeper saved, and, and Bradley Dack getting on the end of a, a really nice ball from Morton. Just for him, uncharacteristic that his, his touch let him down when he would have been through on goal. As I said, I think it was an equal game in the second half. Uh, in that way, I think Cardiff were better in the first half. So all credit to them. But we had a couple of moments uh, in, in the second half. And when we are not playing at our best, you, you of course, you need to, to get a point with you.